What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, and if this is indeed true, well we got some pretty big news to talk about. This is coming exclusively from the Illuminati. They're somewhat reliable, somewhat credible, they've gotten some things right, some things wrong in the past, so we'll see about this. But if this is true, boy oh boy do we have something to talk about, and it's about Batgirl, the upcoming HBO Max exclusive film being directed by Adil and Bilal of Bad Boys for Life. The Illuminati has exclusively reported character actor details, including the film's villain. Now if this is true, when we look at these details, part of me is happy at what I'm looking at, but the other part of me is a little concerned so we'll just go ahead and look at these character details we'll break it down let's go ahead and do that so the illuminati in this report is saying that the background movie is looking to cast an actress in her early 20s to play barbara gordon the movie is also looking to cast someone in their 50s to play commissioner gordon and he's being described to having a strong supporting role in the film and finally batgirl is looking to cast an actor in his 50s to 60s to play the main villain who's being described as a disgruntled former firefighter so here's what's good if this is true we're getting a new actress to play batgirl and she's not in any former cinematic universe so you know the forbes article that said that this batgirl movie might be set in the Robert Pattinson Batman universe back in 2018. Now she doesn't have to be African American. She could be, you know, the comic accurate Barbara Gordon from the comics. And I would love to see Anya Taylor Joy play the role. She's 25, so she fits the bill. And she's already working with Warner Brothers on Mad Max Furiosa, that prequel. So, you know, I think she's a, she's a good go to. She's got star power. Same with Commissioner Gordon. The Batgirl movie is looking for a new actor in his 50s to play Gordon. I know Brian Cranston is 65, but damn, he's literally perfect casting. I mean, who, like, when are they going to realize that Brian Cranston is perfect casting? Cast this dude as freaking Gordon already. And with the villain, who is supposedly a former firefighter, this could be Firefly making his first live action movie debut and I'd love to see that. I think he's a really cool uh, villain. I love him in the Batman 2005 animated cartoon. Yeah, bring on Firefly. Hopefully it is him. What's concerning, however, is that this is set in an alternate universe, not in the DCU. So that means no character development for JK Simmons as Commissioner Gordon, who I think has so much potential, would have loved to see him in this movie. And it's not in the Robert Pattinson, Matt Reeves universe. So no Jeffrey Wright. You know, Warner Brothers says they have a plan after the Flash, but yet again, they're green lighting another alternate universe. And it's just so messy and just ridiculous. So those are my thoughts on this news. I'm still looking forward to seeing the movie. I really like the director's choice. Really enjoy Bad Boys for Life. And this could be a really fun movie. There are pros and cons to what the Illuminati is reporting. Let's see if they get it right first. But, you know, if this is true, those are my thoughts. Now let's talk about Marvel Studios' upcoming Disney Plus series, She-Hulk. We got some exclusive news from the direct. Now, they're not as proven as the Hollywood Reporter or Variety or Deadline. We still have to see if the scar being in She-Hulk news is right. But for right now, this is just like a wait and see situation, but it's not hard to believe. So according to the direct, Jennifer Walters, Tatiana Maslany will be breaking the fourth wall in the show, acknowledging herself as a Marvel Cinematic Universe character. If this is true, it's gonna be interesting because She-Hulk breaks the fourth wall in the comics in the sensational She-Hulk comics, which Kevin Feige said that those comics are being used as influence, as inspiration for the show. It, it makes sense, but will it work like in universe, in the MCU? Will it take us out of the actual show? Because I feel like breaking the fourth wall is sort of exclusive. It's like a staple of Deadpool, and you can make She-Hulk work without the fourth wall breaking. 
So if she does break the fourth wall, it could be really funny and meta, or it could be just like kind of cringy and unnecessary. We will see, but I am interested to say the least, and we'll just have to wait and see if this is true or not, but it's not hard to believe. Overall, excited for that She-Hulk show, really like the character, just love Hulk content. Hopefully they don't turn Abomination into a joke with all this, you know, fourth wall breaking craziness. We will see. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about She-Hulk potentially breaking the fourth wall in her own show in the MCU for the first time? Do you like the idea? Do you think it's just a little too out there? And tell me what you think about the Batgirl news. Potential new casting, it not being said in the DCU or the Robert Pattinson universe. Um, Firefly potentially being the villain. Let me know all your thoughts on that. So please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That'll be all for me. And remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.